It's the new exhaust suspension turbo gearbox. Oh, yes. This is where you stop video, video, and I get the saw out when we start cutting shit away. Good morning, comrades. Welcome back at Apex. Thank you very much, George, for beeping. I know that you did it on purpose, or maybe it was Fabi. I don't know. No, do it horizontally completely, probably. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Boro, for making an amazing thumbnail for the video that you already probably seen. And if you haven't, make sure to check it out up here. Uh, we are going to do some errands. It's going to be vlog, vlog, and Clapped. <laughs> I know it is. <laughs> Gonna tell you about the ring tractor and its updates and plans. Maybe a bit further, further, further. Yeah, let's do the thumbnail and then go to Manta Racing, go to Miltech Exhaust. Miltech Sport, official name, but I call it Miltech Exhaust because exhaust, yeah. And some other things. Ooh, getting all snuggly. We are now. Now it's a party. Misha's here. Oh yeah. What does this do? <laughs> what about this? Schön, dass du bei uns gelandet bist in wenigen Minuten eine ehemalige Nummer eins aus hier. Not a care in the world, like he doesn't even care. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Clutch kick. Yes. Funny thing is, that was full throttle and not even the speed limit. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that. Manta is building more stuff as if they don't have one, two, three, and four buildings. Probably ten more somewhere else. They have another two out back. Yeah, T5 has arrived for uh, MR upgrade. Imagine the, the size of a Club Sport roll bar in here. That would be lit. Tires out, Club Sport cage in. I'm tired. Oh, you're too tired. <laughs> More buildings. Probably gonna be more mental. Eh? Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. It's actually pretty massive. I yeah. wonder what they're actually gonna be doing here. That's what she said. Uh, maybe Miltech knows. Neighbors, after all. So we have here that on the lift, but that's not the reason why we're here. The reason why we're here is actually this. It's the new exhaust for the Golf. Yes. Very excited for that, and we'll be putting it out in a couple of weeks after the new year because currently it's very busy here at Miltek, so, but I just wanted to tease you kind of. But back put to this car, <sighs> I've been always contemplating to buy this because it was for sale at some point at Atomic, and this was not exactly this, but GC8 Coupe was my first car ever, and especially with a couple of mods. On the inside it has the new dash, so it's completely, uh, so to say, retro, what's it called? What's, what's the right word I'm looking for? Not retrofit, but the classic retro build. No, wait. Anyhow, it's here. And it's getting a new cat. Meow. Look at that. Nice and flowy. Togo. And food. And trucks. Ooh, With wood. And logs. Data logs. That's like lunch and breakfast and dinner and tomorrow's breakfast in one. And while we're having lunch, we got mail. In this case, it's from Ring Card Holder. I already know what it is. I'm excited to open up. This is basically a very pro version of the, of the well, as it says. Oh, <laughs> oh wow, the Misha edition. Now I'm even more curious. Anyhow, this is instead of the fly squatter, swatter fly thing. Maybe I need to unpack them first and then start filming. All right, so now we have unpacked the goods. Most importantly, many, many thanks for all the chocolate. That's for the team. I think that could be for you. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> then that's that's for Sergi. Fantastic, thank you. Yes. And these nuts. They oh, nuts. The nuts for me. Yes. Ah, got him. And then moving on to the actual product. So this is the ring card holder the, um, where you can put your ring card because for TF, Tourist and Fart and the public session Nürburgring, you use lap ticket for people who are new to this channel. Uh, so you put it against here and if you're strapped in the car, it's pretty easy because you can then obviously well, stretch it out and just like tap it out and that's it. And these are the Velcro straps, so it's double, it. yeah, double, you stick your car to it. We're not going to stick any car to it now because it's the end of the season, but we will do something for next year. Now, the reason why I got this sent is because its creator, 
uh, Frederick and, and Krista, or in this case Krista, uh, posted on, I believe, Nürburgring Now or the Nürburgring Live, uh, anyway, a Nürburgring related Facebook group. They said, like, hey, we have this product and uh, we would like to uh, hear your thoughts about it. And I said, it's cool, but what I would suggest is to twist it 90 degrees. And that's why in the mail it said, it said, um, it said we made a Misha edition, which is twisted 90 degrees. What I meant, however, is that I suggested that I would twist this part like, like that. Oh, this way. Yeah, this way. Because then, because the card reader is actually, yeah, like I that. Understand. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, that was probably like being lost in translation part of thing. So maybe they can make a Misha edition like that. So in case you're watching, do that. But other than that, I find it a very high quality product. For people who want to go like a step beyond than just like having a, sw a fly swatter and uh yeah enjoy tf thank you very much ring card holder for this amazing gift yeah okay but i want to show the lights okay quickly showing the lights that's okay that's dead and now it can completely die well i'm probably gonna jinx it because actually the car is about to die. I'll get to that later in a separate video. But what I was saying, thank you very much for the ring card holder. I already contacted them saying, well, giving uh, extra input about the angle, etc. So there's going to be probably like a new special Misha version. But anyhow, back to the main topic, more or less, of today's video, the ring tractor. First of all, big shout out to George for installing the headlights in a bit, or actually lamps. One lamp died and that was kind of, yeah, not cool. The engine, as I said, <laughs> probably about to die when i started the car to roll in here there was like a massive cloud of white smoke and just like didn't want to start for five seconds winter mark for life ah that's the thing okay well at least there's that maybe what i want to talk about is the plans a quick update because there hasn't been any update what currently is happening so the old the crashed ring tractor one has been stripped of all the parts and they're ready to get be installed on this car. However, I have ordered, well, we some parts could not be replaced like bushings because they just went away with the chassis. I ordered new bushings and because of COVID, blah, 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 uh, it takes a bit longer to deliver them. So they might come here end of the week or somewhere this week, that would be great. If not, the company that's going to install them, Poseidon, you remember the fake taxi A45 AMG lab? They're helping out, they stripped the car, they're going to do reinstall on this, so massive shout out to them. There's going to be obviously a separate video of that, etc. But they are going on winter holiday, so this means if the bushings get here in time, they'll be probably not in time, and we'll have to do it beginning of next year. Which is not a bad thing, but just like keeping you up to date of what's happening. And once we're done with the lights, or actually when George is done with the lights, I will go you also through all the mods, 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 all the car parts that we already have for the ring tractor and that will be installed. Are you fucking joking? So what's... Well, this doesn't come out because of the plug is so big. And then it doesn't come out because this massive surround, which is looking like for the air intake, doesn't come off without taking basically the whole bumper off and headlight out. Really? Just for this. Great construction. So, this is where you stop video, video, and then I get the saw out when we start cutting shit away. <laughs> <laughs> because I am fucking taking the bumper off. Yes. Oh, there's so much more light than from the other one. So fast forward to the evening and to my pretty messy office and you'll probably be wondering do you have nothing else to do at 11 o'clock than showing us your car parts? Well actually uh, the transporter guy who's going to bring those parts to Dark Side Developments called me and he asked like hey can I pick them up at 1 o'clock so well I have to shoot this to show it to you now. Why is it all going to Dark Side Developments? Well they sent me parts first to me because the idea was to build something like a fast street car because I was supposed to be traveling to Croatia up and down and needed to be reliable. Well, then Croatia got off the table because uh, I left Remac, went back here full time and I said, let's go more crazy instead of 200 horsepower, do 300 horsepower. Then they asked like, okay, can you send us the stuff back? Uh, so uh, we can kind of well, keep that and put new stuff instead and start building the engine for you. Okay, so that's what I'm doing right now. So what we had already ready to install for almost complete year, uh, airbox from a PD-130 engine because I had PD-100, now PD-150, so we don't need this. Turbo, I don't know the size, doesn't matter because we're going to go for a bigger version now anyway together with the whole uh, turbo piping kit, etc., etc., uh, air filter, all the... Um, 
uh, yeah, turbo mounting kit. Downpipe as well, this will be replaced, it will, will need a bigger version. Now this came off the crashed car, so start motor which belongs to the gearbox is brand new because I had the, the original one died so we had to buy a new one so I'm happy we'll at least have a new start motor. La uh, single mass flywheel with the upgraded clutch, sing um, yeah upgraded clutch. Gearbox, 6 speed gearbox but inside is a quave differential so I'm sending this because I would like the dark side development guys to first of all open it up, check it all up and also reinforce it with forks and uh, maybe yeah gears as well. They will know what's what will be needed to to do it to run 300 horsepower comfortably um, Air pack so operated radiator from Audi s3 with the What's that called the the rat pack as well more stuff from I think for yeah piping Oh no, that's the oil cooler that goes back probably either they're gonna install it or pick a bigger one I don't know we have here some stuff which is not going back there. We have Verkline front arms camber kit etc um the rear brace that we'll be installing later vicious strut bar for the front there's just some nuts and bolts yeah we have here some additional subframe materials uh three brake discs two old ones actually one new one because one was broken on the new car spacers that are just like spacers whatever uh, big brake discs from Stopek Tech from the rear. One more thing that I need to show you, it's a suspension, so let's get rid of that first. Night time, day time! That was probably a very bad transition, but some very good parts. So, as mentioned, suspension. JRZ suspension, RS Pro 3-way adjustable, same as we run on the M4. Uh, this means you can adjust uh, compression and rebound. So here we go, external reservoirs on top. Um, yeah, this is one of the parts which is going to be very sad not to be able to see on the car. However, we can actually see the stock shocks over there, the yellow ones popping out, but the car will have the bigger big brake kit on the rear. So yeah, there's kind of that. Very much excited for it. It's going to be, yeah, the part that you will not be able to see on the car, but to notice the most next to the engine, of course, in terms of handling, because, well, I mean, don't want to bring this up, but this part, like probably one shock alone costs more than the whole car, but that's the whole purpose of the, the whole project. Well, not the purpose, but the, some, somehow it gotten into a trend. Uh, as mentioned before, that's what you get with a shitbox car. The car itself costs less than any other part. And another part, and for hood yeah, memories. Another part is uh, this carbon tastic steering wheel. And you know <laughs> what's sad about it is I got this package like somewhere in August, and now like four months later, it's still not hasn't been unpacked. So you know what? Let's do that. Da, 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 da. Oh, more packaging! Great. Okay, now that we got rid of that, let's show it to you and to me. I almost forgot how it looks like. Well, how did I spec it? Ah, one thing I know. <laughs> the three stripes for the cent the 12 o'clock mark. Tum, 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 tum. How does the rest looking like? E e Probably should put something soft underneath it. Oh, yes. So, according to the technical information, the mounting... Uh, there goes my airbag. Would have been a big fail if I uh, would have explo would have exploded. Would be a good video though. Oh no, it's just the mount, so I still need to get the airbag itself though. Hmm. No, that's something I need to order then. Yeah. Um, the mount is apparently the same as on the Golf 4. So this is something that we will find out. But so far, ooh, looks so much better and feels so much better. And I hope you like this little joke, the little sloughness inside me. Um, yeah, that's about it. Very much looking forward to installing all these parts and the parts that have already left to dark side developments and a lot more in upcoming weeks. Hopefully not months, weeks, yep. And then obviously driving. Uh, by the way, the dates for Tristan Farton have been already announced. So the first weekend of March is going to be the first opening of 2021. And that's when we're going to be driving. Looking forward to that. Diana looks like a little child in between the chair. I'll fix it, I'll fix it. <laughs> Do you even know you're on gaming chair? Okay, we're playing games. Yeah, it's still <laughs> We're playing games there. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Enjoy. Enjoy, Misha. And thank you for making foods.